Hello and welcome back to uh yeah and welcome back to uh my channel. We got FPS flashback going on today looking at Catacomb uh Apocalypse. This is the final game in the Catacomb series. And we will see how the Sun Soft Disc ends up wrapping up the series. <clears throat> Uh, so far everything looks pretty standard. We got a blue sky texture. We got green texture on the bottom uh, We got keys So far we don't have destructible wall. Yep, there we go All right, and that requires a yellow key. So that is a little interesting permanently blocked So we need a red and a yellow key right off the bat. And Oh we alright, so there's backwards. A green key. Okay. We're making some progress. Oh, what is that? <clears throat> alright, so here's a green key. We got some spells, healing potions. Alright, alright. I gotta remember how to aim in this game. There's a yellow key, and some more spells, and some more healing potions. So we have yellow and green. There's the yellow key door. Alright, so, uh,. Right off the bat, this is an interesting start to the game. I'm not sure if those guys are ranged. I don't think they are, but I haven't really let one. Let's see. You do it yet? So, uh, first level, we have ranged enemies. We have enemies that sink into the ground, or at least start in the ground. A breeze from behind the wall. Uh, and we have ranged and melee enemies. So they are really starting this out in a much more difficult place than the other two games, which is good. By now, you should be expected to have played the other two games, and this should just be part of the difficulty curve that was established in the prior games. Alright, so now we got the red key. None of these blow up. So we should be able to go into any of the doors now, because I'm pretty sure red and green are the last two. Whoa! Sniping me from the wall, I mean from the corner there? That's not cool. What do you want? Oh, a green key. I sure hope I didn't need it for the other one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's... Oh, okay, this guy's not melee. That guy is definitely ranged. I'm going to assume that just like the other games in the Catacomb Adventure series, we can destroy items. So I wanted to be very, very careful there, make sure I didn't destroy those. I don't know how rare health potions are going to be in this game. Uh, Armageddon actually had a lot of, or a very sparse amount of potions at the beginning. Uh, that's what I get for... Alright. So it's nice to see them starting off with a bit more than it did last time. Now this is an interesting predicament because I'm pretty sure that last door... ...is... ...green? Oh no, it's red. Okay. So what is this? Another red. I'm obviously missing something. 
And that would be, you know, the door that we came from. So somehow I'm missing... ...a key, and I can't say that I've seen one. Got the keys from both of those corners. And I've blown up every wall that looks destructible as per the uh, pattern that has been set from the beginning of this level. And Sunloft, nope, Soft Disk. I have no idea what Sunloft is. I kind of think those were the guys who made the uh, Batman NES game. Fantastic. Uh, getting a little off topic here though. Um, Softdisk has done a pretty good job of making sure that the player always knows which walls are destructible. And I would be very disappointed to see them go back on that for this game. However... I have destroyed everything, or at least shot everything that looks like it would be destructible. And I am somehow missing a key. Something else I would not really appreciate if it were the case is if we ended up needing both of those red keys to open the door and I've actually created an unwinnable solution here, or an unwinnable situation, by using the one red key to open up the door. And I'm actually going to increase the outer ring on this. Hopefully that'll keep me from spinning wildly when I don't want to. I feel like I can activate it right now. But it's on the very edge. I'm hoping that'll work. I might have to uh, change that as I keep playing. But I keep coming back to this. This is the only room that I feel is left. Alright, I'm actually going to start a new game and see what happens. I, I, I can't believe I missed something, but uh, these hitboxes are getting a little ridiculous. The hitboxes on the poles, that is. Something else I wanted to address with the enemies. See, I'm thinking there should have been a red key on both sides here. One for the green and one for the yellow, and both of those would lead to the two reds needed in the middle. <clears throat> so I'm going to approach it from that angle. And see what comes of it. Uh, something else I wanted to bring up about the enemies, though, is that uh, the first game started out with uh, enemies with only one health. The second game had some enemies with two and three health uh, at the, in the first level, and this one we have enemies with two and three health again, and. All of this has been across the novice difficulty. I know that uh, some people might not agree with me using that, but that is what we are using here. Oh, come on. 
Alright, so I'm still hitting that. Uh, but I don't really need to. And this hallway is still intact. Alright, so I did not find a red on this side. Assuming I find a red on the other side, uh, I think I'm going to continue with my theory that there should be a red key on either side, and I'm going to go back and look at that one. So we have a new trick in town where you can walk through walls. I'm really hoping that the notes, the breeze from behind the wall, I'm really hoping that those notes continue to, to be consistent. It's one of the things that I liked about the adventure series over id's original Catacomb 3D was the consistency of taking an idea and making sure the player had enough information about it to be able to expect it and to search for it. Especially when it came to destructible walls. One of the things in, in Catacomb 3D that I wasn't real fond of was that any wall could be destructible. There was no rhyme or reason to it. And it created a lot of just areas where it would be trial and error. You shoot random things hoping that it would detonate. That's what I'm talking about. I'm hoping we can get all five of these again. And we can see this is a continuance of uh, an idea that was brought about in the second game, Armageddon, of having a house or a castle. Well, actually, this one doesn't let me wrap around the entire house or castle. And it looks like we're going towards a wizard garden. Oh, I need a red key. Um, hidden place behind the wall. Is this just... Yeah, nothing special there. Alright, so I need another red key. Alright, so it does say a breeze from behind the wall, so that's good. It's, it's staying consistent with that idea. But at the same time, I had to get a lot closer to it. So we'll see how this plays out. I'm, right now, I'm not too fond of the idea. That's not going to work as nicely as I wanted it to. So... Let's make... A long press on this. Bump it up just a little bit. And... We're going to have a multi-button for B. Uh, 
and and r and and y and and ah uh, no Getting ridiculous. B. R. Y. A. N. And as you can see, we have B and R and Y, and hopefully that has all of them. I know it has a limit. And we're going to do a cycle binding on this, so instead of pushing them all at once, it says B and then R and then Y and then etc. So when I hit it, it should cycle through them all and put them down. And it does not. Uh, you know, the other way to do this is to do a bunch of activators which I guess is what we're going to end up doing and they will have varying amounts of delay so this one will have zero Three ticks, six ticks, nine ticks, and twelve. Let's see if that works. I have no idea why that did not work. There's absolutely no reason that B should be coming in so late. It is literally, whoops, the first part. Oh, uh, so let's standardize the long press time. Alright, so now that that's settled, we can speed that up every time we finish a level. Whoa! Okay, mosquito bugs. I'm not sure I want to get behind that idea, but I guess we're going to have to. Looks like we're good here. Yep, there's the blue key door. I'm sure there's no robot bugs in here. I don't know where you came from, dude, but that was not cool. Dang, you got weapons too? 
So, so far we haven't fought a single enemy that is not ranged. Which is an interesting development. Uh, one of the things I criticized the first two games for was certainly being too easy and that most of the enemies are melee. And for this game to so far not have any melee creature... Oh, okay, okay. That was my mistake. Should not have blown that wall up. This is what I don't like about these games. And I feel like this one's doing a much worse job than its predecessors in that they've introduced new ways to basically confuse me. To leave me without any way of knowing what's going to happen. I, I have no expectations. I have destroyed a couple of walls, and I did not see anything different about them from the other walls I have destroyed. Other than the fact they were all next to window blocks. And it just dawned on me that I should probably be pressing against all of these walls just in case. Which is a, something I am not fond of with this title. And I know Wolfenstein is going to do something similar, and, but fortunately it was only for, it's only for secret areas in that one. Yep, there we go. Alright, so we need a red and a blue key. I'm guessing these are destructible. Alright, one of them is at least destructible. Come on. It is a bit dangerous to just blindly run for treasure chests. Alright, another gem. That's good. Two levels, two gems. This is on the same track as the other game in the series. Uh, was that a Armageddon? Here's another thing I'm not liking about this, is that it's difficult to remember where you've come from or where you can go back to. Because the doors are not, they, they don't stay open, so to speak. You don't have any visual reminder that, hey, you were here. Did that have nothing in it? Pretty sure I touched it. And of course, for situations like this where you need to backtrack, you need to remember where that wall is. What is that? As far as I'm concerned, that is some broken texture mess, but I'm sure it's supposed to look like that. Maybe it's a portal of some Yeah, it's like mirrors. Shifting. 
A new challenge awaits you. That's certainly new. Uh, if this is all running as intended, I like it, but I feel like the game just crashed.